In this clip, we're going to be talking about starting a new composition. And we can do that in a few different ways. We can go to composition, new composition, and you can see that we also have a shortcut, which is control N. We also have another button here in our projects panel with a create new composition. So if we left click on that, you can see that a uh, composition settings window opens. And here we have a few different settings. A preset option, right? We can go to 4K or all these other ones. You can manually change the pixel aspect ratio, the, the frame rate. For now, I'm gonna go for 24 frames per second. I'm gonna go to 1920 by 1080. And um, here, the resolution, I wanna keep it at full. This resolution doesn't mean that it's only going, this, this is not the final resolution for your project or your composition. We can change the resolution at any time. We can also uh, change the start time code. And uh, here we can change the duration. For now, I'm gonna hit 10 seconds. We can change the background color. We can go to red, white. For now, we can keep it in black, but feel free to change that. Uh, and here we have a few other advanced settings like preserve frame rate when nested or render queue, uh, shutter angle. If you're starting to use the software, I would say leave this out for now and get used to the basics. We also have a 3D render and uh, in the 3D render options, you can see we have the render. If we the render, there's four. There's a few different options: the classic render, or ray trace. There's also another advanced option within After Effects. So I would say leave this one up, uh, just in classic 3D for now. And finally, you can name your composition on the top, and you, we can name. I'm going to name this one A E Intro, and I'm gonna hit Enter, and it hits OK. Another way to create a composition would be. If you're importing a clip and you want to work exactly with those settings, you can simply left click and drag to this little composition icon and you will see that a new composition will be open with a cinema effects name on it, which is the original name of the file. So in our projects panel now, you will see that two new files are created, which are compositions. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and open, a, create a new folder and name this one and just name this one comps and i'm going to drag both of these compositions well actually this cinema effects just to let you know we can access the composition settings go to composition on our menu and then composition settings and you can see that there's also a keyboard shortcut control k If you create a composition uh, by dragging that file, that composition will inherit basically the settings of that file. In this case, it's the same resolution, which is 1920 by 1080, but the frame rate is uh, 60 frames per second. And the duration is actually five seconds. So you can see that. So every time you create a composition with a clip or a file, it would inherit that. So if I drag, uh, let's say an image, and I hit Control K, again, keyboard shortcut for composition settings, you will see that this, uh, this composition is now 4,000 and something pixels in the width, and so it's pretty, it's pretty big, it's a 4K. So uh, the frame rate, it's still at 60 because it took uh, the one from the previous one and it and it also took the five second from the previous one because it since it's only a one frame it doesn't know what to do so after effects it will take the last one um, the last information it had stored so in that case was 60 seconds or five seconds so that those are again ways to create the compositions and uh, for now I'm gonna delete these compositions because we will we will not need those for now. We're just going to keep this AE, this After Effects intro composition. And um, if you're working with more elements or you want to bring in some more elements of your own, go ahead and bring those in now. And I'll see you guys in the next clip.